Uh, hi guys, I have not posted a video for a while. Um, and last Friday, I got the Intel um, the B580 graphic card. Uh, at the moment, there are a lot of videos on YouTube um, reviewing the card for gaming per performance. And based on the recent reviews, they, they seem to be very good. And but for me, I I want to use the car for other purposes, uh, like uh, I want to try the car for large language model applications. Um, I have not seen a video that discussed uh, using the car for that purpose yet, so I decided to make one and just to document um, my experience with the card. And the way to go about it, I will record myself on camera and I'm also going to record um, my computer screen and just to go over some something I found uh, with this card and also the issues that I found. Uh, let's go, okay. As you can see, um, the car is installed. So it's uh, the B580 and the other one is the UHD graphics uh, 770. So that comes with my CPU, which is i7 14700K. Um, one thing you need to do is when you install the discrete graphic card, the B580, you need to in, uh, enable the resizable bar. Okay. Uh, when I first installed it, um, the system asked me to get the latest gra graphic card driver and I did that but but the annoying thing is Windows Update tried to roll back the old driver and because of that uh, I noticed that um, PyTorch cannot recognize uh, the discrete graphic card so the way I resolve it is to go to Intel and download the latest driver and then reinstall again then somehow that fixed the issue. So the lesson is that Windows update can be very annoying, like it tried to roll back drivers. So you need to be aware of that when you use this card, okay? So once you have this set up, um, the way I test it with PyTorch is I first go to this page, which is getting started on Intel GPU. That's on the PyTorch website. So once you go to that, okay, um, just go through this documentation. It says that install the prerequisites. So you click that, okay. And I need to mention that the reason I test this out in uh, Windows is because at the moment, B580 is not yet supported um, with Linux. So as you can see here, um, with Ubuntu 24.10 or 24.04, um, only the A series are supported. So the B series are not yet supported. At the moment, the B series is only supported with Windows 10 or 11. So that's why I tested um, uh, this exercise with Windows, with Windows, not Linux. Okay. Um, and the requirement for for Windows is very simple. You just need to install the latest driver. So that's what I did. Okay. So once once we have done that, then we need to install some. We need to execute this command. So as you can see, that's a, that's a Python package uh, manager. So we first need to install um, a Python distribution on Windows. So the way I did that is I go to uh, Anaconda's website and just download the Windows installer. So once that's installed, okay, what you can do, you can create a Python environment um, like you can specify which um, Python version you want to use 
So I think in this case it doesn't matter. You can you can choose uh, 3.10 or 3.11, 3.12 doesn't matter. But anyhow, I just create a environment called LLM. Okay, for testing. So once I did that, then you can just copy this com this line or this line um, to the console and install install torch. So I have I need to highlight that there's a difference. Um, with Linux, this uh, uh, pre built torch vision and torch audio for for the XPU for Intel GPU. But for Windows, you need to build Torch Vision and Torch Audio yourself, um, which is annoying. Okay, because at the moment we're trying to test out in Windows, so what we can do is only to install Torch, not Torch Vision. Okay, um, either of these two will be all right. The, the the test version or the nicely built version. Okay, so the reason that's annoying because if in Windows we, we do not have that and we cannot test the following code easily. Okay, so this is um, computer vision uh, stuffs. So that requires tor torch vision. Okay, but anyhow, um, once you install this, okay. And basically, you can test out uh, Torch with this graphic card, and I just test out with my own um, own code. Okay. So here's the code I uh, I test. Uh, so basically, it's a uh, it's a short um, Python code uh, to to replicate to replicate. Um, GPT-2, okay, and um, using smaller training sets just to test out the mechanisms, okay. So the important thing is this part. So if you want to use the card, you need to specify. It's basically everything's the same. You just need to change your device. So for NVIDIA GPU, it's CUDA, but for Intel, it's uh, XPU. So we can see just changing this line, okay, and we can run it. And at the moment, I set these to LLM, which is the environment I created, okay. And I will run this code to execute um, this code on Intel GPU, okay. So when when we run this line, we can actually okay. As you can see, in addition to so we. So we need to specify XPU if we want to use the Intel device, uh, Intel GPU. And um, we know that it has XPU because if we print the device, it's XPU. Mm -hmm. Then it, we can also get the device properties. We know that it's the B580. So if we print this out, then it says uh, Intel Arc B580. Um, okay, everything seems to run, and I will show you the issue at the moment. Okay, so all the code seems running. Okay, but then we have this issue. Okay, so one while actually trying to run the model, then I got this exception. It's called a uh, Runtime error could not create 
an engine. Um, I don't know how to resolve it. I think uh, it's something to do with PyTorch. I raised the issue on PyTorch GitHub, uh, GitHub page, and they tagged that as a bug. So hopefully that can be resolved soon. Um, so that's the dis disappointing part. I, I really try to try to see whether whether my code will run on the graphic card. But at the moment, there seems to be um, um, the PyTorch support for Intel car or XPU is in a beta stage. There are some bugs, and hopefully they can resolve that soon. And, and then I can re redo the test later. So I show you the GitHub page. Okay. So at the moment, they assign it to um, to some people. I, I assume they work from Intel, so they will handle it. Um, might just need to wait, OK. Um, but anyhow, I will show you what this program does. So it's a toy prop. It's a toy problem for GPT-2. So because I cannot execute that that code in the CPU, uh, you can. I can change that to to CPU. Um, so device. can change to CPU. So if we re run everything, okay. So what it does, it it trying to do um, like a small small set of training and just to recreate the the GPT mechanism. So for example, I enter context, you try to predict the next token, and so on. So after several iterations, then the model learn how to um, how to spit out words. Okay. And so on. Anyhow, that's the that's the program I, I want to run on this GPU, but unfortunately it cannot be run. So I will get back to you later and one step uh, once I know that that problem is resolved okay, by, by Intel or by PyTorch. Okay. Um, the other thing that I try is um, is to try this application called Intel Playground. Um, so this is the application that Intel introduced to demonstrate uh, AIPC applications. Um, it's quite interesting. Um, you just need to uh, once you have the card, you just need to install it. I, I believe that you can also use it with um, older graphic card versions or even a laptop as long as you have an XE GPU. Um, and so once you install that, it has uh, the application has several functions. So you can use it to create an image. So for example, if I type, um, if I want to create a logo um, with a picture of a llama, okay, I can ask the prompt to do that and produce an image. It's fairly fast to run, um, to run such prompts on the GPU. Uh, create an abstract logo with llama. So in this case, the code is running with the GPU. So you see the Intel B580, the use rate bumps up to 80%. Okay. Okay. So that's the picture is created. And you can also use that to, to sharpen the picture. Picture that's added is a bicycle. Um, you can say we want 1.5 times up sampling. 
Um, I think this one is redundant. I don't know why we need to in enter prompts here. But anyhow, we can just enter generate. So you you will create a you will create an upscaled image of the picture. As you can see again, the Intel GPU is uh, it's run. This task is run on the Intel GPU. Uh, okay, it's finished. So we can enlarge it. As you can see, the picture they look unnatural. It might work for some applications. Uh, still useful. Okay. Uh, then another one is um, is the large language models applications. Um, I think for normal normal usage, like uh, for school staffs, uh, especially you're learning um, computer science, is quite helpful. You don't need to access GPT, uh, sorry, ChatGPT to do that. You don't need to pay for that. You can just run everything locally. Um, so I just demonstrate what you can do. And it's quite fast. So at the moment, it's running the Microsoft 5.3 mini model. Okay, you can say um, you can say write uh, write a Python program that traverse a graph structure. So it's fairly fast. Okay. And what else you can do, you can also upload your documents. And you can query your documents, but that requires a different model. Okay. Yeah. So ideally, those features should be um, should be done elsewhere. For example, like using Olama. Because Olama has API, so you can create applications on top of that. But at the moment, um, once you if you install Olama, Olama cannot recognize the Intel GPU. So that's a that's a downside at the moment. I hope they can be resolved soon. I saw some discussion on GitHub. Um, Olama tried to get this work on Intel GPUs, but maybe it's not ready yet. I, I don't know. But I hope they can get this resolved soon. Therefore, you can use, um, you can do some programming on top of that. Okay. But just for normal usage, it's quite helpful. Uh, beside writing code, you can say, write an email to report uh, my manager that I'm sick. So you can do those normal stuff, uh, no problem. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to access ChatGPT for that. Okay. And and that's about it. That's the Intel AI play, playground. It's. Uh, I think it's okay for demonstration, but ideally Intel need really need to refine its support for its API, and commonly used tools such as Olama, and. To enable um, developers to to build on top of on top of um, its GPUs. Okay, that's the quick rundown of my experience with the Intel GPU, and hope you guys like it. And if you if you want me to do some more testing with this GPU, and um, please let me know. And thanks guys for watching. See you.